Do you want to apply for an H2B job but don't know what questions the employer may ask? What's up guys, it's your girl Teja Lee and I'm back with another informative video about H2V interview tips. Ensure that you are liking this video so that it can reach more people and also subscribe and feel free to leave a comment as well. So what most employers will ask is for you to tell them about yourself. So in this case, what you will do, you will sell yourself professionally and let the employer know who you are as a person on a professional level. For my housekeeping interview, they did not ask me any questions about um, the job position. What they asked me was um, about myself. They also went ahead to explain some information about the job in which I'm, which I'm applying for, as well as about the company on a whole. So the employer went on to explain about the company overall. They advised about the housing, how much it would cost per week and how it would be paid. If it would be deducted from my paycheck they also advised me of the pay and also they advised about where i will be working what position and the property in which i'd be working they also went ahead to explain when my visa process will start so when i'm doing the interview with my employer they it was a brief interview and it was very precise they asked a few questions about myself as a person and they went on to share information about the job and what i will be doing they explained the process so when applying for an h2b job what your employer will do they will ask you a question as it relates to each job itself for example you're applying for a housekeeping job one of the many questions they ask is how long do you take to clean a room so that's just an example of the question they may ask. So they will ask you questions depending on the job position in which you are applying for. What they will also do is, based on the experience you share on your resume, then they will ask you about those experiences and then they will tie it in with the job you are applying for. One example would be, say for example, you are applying for a server position, but you do not have the specific serving experience, but you maybe have some customer service experience or experience where you deal with customers um, firsthand. They will ask you about that experience and how it would apply for, um, it would apply to the job in which you are applying for. So they will ask you, how does your role in the customer service industry help you as a server? So what is um, one of the many questions an employer what, or what most employers will ask you is to d explain or describe a time where you had um, some challenges with a customer or a guest and what you did to overcome that situation. So when answering this, I would advise to be brief and have a proper explanation for this question because what they're looking for is how you handle different types of situations and if you're dealing with an angry customer or if a situation is escalated they want to know how you will handle that situation also what an employer will do is they will tell you the type of person they are looking for to fill the each specific position and they will ask you how you plan to fit those criteria. So basically, it's the same series of questions or it's the same technique for each type of job you are applying for. So as it relates to an interview and questions they may ask, it may be similar questions they ask you depending on the job you're applying for and the position. So be sure to represent yourself well and be knowledgeable about the position that you are applying for that is very important especially if you do not have any experience experience you want to be confident and you want to let the employer know 
that even without experience, you can perform the job duties. So you want to let the employer know that you are trainable and you catch on very quickly to any task given. You also want to let them know that you are good at multitasking. That is a very good skill. And also you want to let them know that you are a person who you always uses your initiative. And by using your initiative, you know, you don't always have to be told what to do, when to do and how to do it. So be persuasive, but you also don't want to do too much. You want to let the employer know that you are really interested in this job. Show them how much you are interested. And also, if you do not get selected for um, if if you do not get selected for a specific position, you want to ask them: Is there any other positions in which my skills and abilities might fit um, a different role? Ask them about different vacancies or opportunities within their organization. Or you can ask them if there's any other employer they know who might be recruiting for um, a specific, specific job in which your skills can be applied. And the last thing I will touch on is you want to ensure that you are asking the employer questions. Even though most of them will go ahead and tell you about the job, they'll tell you about the company, how long they have been in business and about what they do, the type of service they offer, you still want to ensure that you know some information about the company. So you can Google the company. So you want to ensure you are visiting their websites, Googling their company, so you can have a brief um, description about what they offer, what they do. So in an event where they ask you, um, do you have any questions for us? You can, ha you can ask a question, not specifically about the the salary but you know a different type of question and you want to ensure you are engaging with the employer throughout your interview so that's it guys for this video if you have any questions be sure to comment down below and let me know also you can send me a message on instagram so thank you guys so much for joining me today and i want you to subscribe to this channel like this video and just leave a comment down, down below and let me know what you think join me in the next video where we will be talking about different h2b agencies in which you can apply for so thank you guys so much and i'll see you in the next video